autumn video because it's autumn it was officially autumn yesterday so we can finally embrace it accept it we can wear our pjs all day i had such a lovely morning this morning quite a slow paced morning but myself and tom went for a really nice long walk and it's something that we've got into the habit of doing on mornings like today, I'm looking outside, it is bright blue skies, not a cloud in the sky. And we wake up early, I put on a fresh pot of coffee, we take a to-go flask and we just put on our walking boots and we just walk in the crisp, fresh air. It's a really positive way to start your day, I would highly recommend it. Anyway, today I decided to do a bit of a vlog style fall, autumn clean and decorate with me. Now, if you are new to my channel and have missed my previous videos where I have mentioned we are moving house literally next month, fingers crossed. I'm hoping it will be within the next couple of weeks. So it kind of makes it pretty pointless to decorate the entire house. So what I'm gonna do is clean up and decorate this room, which is our living room. If we're in quick enough, who knows, I may even have a second full decorate and clean with me in the new house. But obviously with the move, there's gonna be lots of moving related content to come. So that is all coming over the next month or two. But as for today, I wanted to share with you a couple of new bits that I've got, some last year autumn bits, some autumn cleaning bits. So if you haven't already, make sure you've made your coziest drink of choice, light the candles, get comfy, relax, and I hope you enjoy today's video. I even have in the next video a very Christmassy video. So if you want all the festive feels, you've come to the right place. Anyway, I need to stop chit-chatting, finish off this coffee, and get cracking. Oh my goodness, how? nice does that look if this doesn't make you feel cozy then i don't know what will so i have a selection of autumnal seasonal kind of cleaning products which i thought i would get back out of my cleaning cupboard and share with you before i use them what i actually have so i got these minky general purpose cloths and a few other microfiber cloths for dusting with and wiping down the surfaces we have a new air wick which i'm going to put out and this one is in mum's baking which is notes of baked pear, pie crust and vanilla, amazing. This is where I'm really grateful that I save the festive Christmassy ones. I always end up stocking up so that when it, the seasons come around and the flora isn't yet in stores, I already have a bit of a stockpile. So this one's probably my fave, festive fireside. We've got winter spice, winter morning cranberry and orange. I need to get more warm cinnamon next year because that's one of my faves and I didn't have any of those in my stock collection. This is my favorite flash all-purpose spray in apple spice. Clementine and clove for our flash all-purpose cleaner which I use on our floors. And then I have quite a selection of fragranced room sprays, air mists type thing. This one from Airsense, b and a pound in fruit spice. We have vanilla latte which I also have the Febreze fabric refresher which I'll pop on our sofa. So I might actually use that one to tie in with that or do I go for one of these? I think I might go for this Febreze one. And these I photographed on my stories on my homeware account from Asda recently and so many of you guys said, oh my God, they're the best wax melts ever. So I went back and picked up this one. There was only one left in this. So I only picked up the one for now at two pounds. This one is in Cuddle Up, Tonka and Oud. Really, really nice. And then I also picked up this one, Warm Apple Pie. That one was a bit cheaper, but these ones are on offer three for five pounds. So I went back yesterday and stocked up on a load more that they had brand new in store. So, oh my God, 
These are all like the seasonal ones. This one is in Welcome Home Sugared Apple Cinnamon. We've got By the Fire, which I think I'm really going to like. I love that smoky kind of scent. And this one is in Smoky Birch and Balsamic Fur. This one as well, love pine scented. I might even do a Christmas clean with me in the new house featuring all pine products. Let me know if you'd like that. So this is frosted with snowflakes, it says. And then more appropriate for this time of year, we've got pumpkin apple muffins. Oh my goodness. This is another one that a few of you mentioned that I should try, dancing leaves. And then last but not least, we'll save this one for Christmas. Santa's sugar cookies. So I actually have a few wax melts out in the house currently with the cuddle up one and I am obsessed, hence why I went back and bought all of these. The first thing that I like to do before beginning any kind of speed clean or organize is of course by creating a list. Now I like to use the Mrs. Hinch Little Book of Lists. I think the cheapest place I have found this is Home Bargains and I believe it's about $4.99 but there's nothing better than ticking off everything that you've done on your list. It helps keep you on track and motivated so I would definitely recommend and then I'm going to start by just doing a general tidy up and taking up the washing upstairs so that that is out of the way before moving on to the sofa. It's incredible how much dirt and hairs and dust and everything that builds up on the sofa. So I do like to do this every once in a while. A real deep clean and hoover underneath and of course on the sofa and the cushions as well. This night will be okay. the hoover that I use is from GTEC is the air ram I also have the handheld one as well which is great for stairs cleaning your car and obviously in this case the sofa little touches that I'm going to add to this room is on this cushion so usually I have the two black ones either side then these linen ones they're all from Ikea and then I just kind of set that one there but I'm going to add a cushion cover onto it this one which I got from Shein you probably saw it in my Shein haul so I'm just going to add this on I mean you could keep this out all year it just says let's stay home but I want it as a seasonal touch something to like add to my home when this time of year comes about to be honest with you I could probably put a slightly bigger cushion in this one and my intention when we do move I think at least initially we'll take this sofa with us but these cushion inserts for this back Bit. they're really flat they're not very supportive they're really uncomfortable and I know Dunelm sell cushion inserts so I might see if they do some big enough for that or you could even I suppose maybe put two in one just to bulk it out so that is going to be my intention with them because it makes the sofa quite uncomfortable so that's why I added these Ikea ones on that cute I think it's cute, right? To be honest, I could probably, probably have ironed it, but never mind. Yeah, it, it could probably have a, a bigger cushion in it, but for now, that will do. I have Febreze the sofa without the cushion, so I'm just going to pop a bit more on now that the cushions are all on. Lovely. Just before I move the table back and everything, I'm just going to put on some of this 1001 carpet fresh on now that I've hoovered up this way okay that'll do right this just you spritz on after you've hoovered you don't need to do anything to it it just kind of dissolves into the rugs and carpets but it smells amazing they need to do some seasonal ones actually I think the only seasonal one they do is winter berries 
which I've had in the past, but I quite like the spling, spling? spring blossom and mandarin because it's quite citrusy and fresh. Kind of ties in quite nicely with the clementine, clove and the spiced apple. wondering what this is it is uh, the elbow grease glass cleaner that I use for all my mirrors and windows oh god I felt cobweb <laughs> oh, I'm just now for the rest of the day I'm literally gonna be freaking out if a piece of hair touches me that's it, I'm thinking it's a spider. Right, so I'm actually gonna keep these out because I really like dried pampas grass. These ones are little dried bunny tails. I think I got these from Sostrine Green. I do like the way that they look side by side as well. So I have a little trio going on. And the browns and the whites and everything is tied in really nice for autumn. That one is from Primark home in fact I think both of these are and then this glass one will probably have been from TK Maxx or home since that's where I tend to get most of my glass vases from then I've also cleaned up this mirrored tray which I got from home sense last year or the year before I can't remember I'm thinking this could look quite nice on our kitchen island by the coffee station for my little makeshift DIY autumnal tray usually it just sits on there with a white company reed diffuser on so I am going to move this this. Again this little corner over here I quite like and I'm probably just going to keep as is. So we've got the dried pampas grass, I got them from Amazon. Dried eucalyptus from a variety of bunches and flowers over the years I've just let them sort of dry out. Both of those big pots are thrifted from charity shops and then this little candle here I quite like the difference in height of them all. So Again, the browns, the creams, they work quite nice for autumn, so I'm going to keep those out. I'm just going to spritz some of the floor on the radiators because I always find when they turn on and when they heat up, it just kind of disperses the scent in the room. So I've just diluted some. Also, another tip, don't do too much in as a flora bottle because if you're planning on like filling it, You've got to, I think it's within a couple of weeks or there's a certain time frame when the, the actual product will stop working. So as, as a diluted form, not obviously just in the neat form in as a flora bottle, but yeah, just worth noting not to do a full bottle unless you're gonna use it, which is unlikely. So I, I tend to do a third, maybe even just a quarter of this. Then you stood there smiling so many times before I never wanna be away, leave you again. Okay, so these are all the decoration bits that I'm working with for this little coffee table here. I bought this dough ball, this dough ball dough board from a charity shop i think it was about three pound fifty so i thought i could do some kind of a pumpkin display in that and these were from poundland last year then i have this pumpkin which is really nice amber glass from home sense last year along with these two pumpkins here which you can pop little tea lights in the back there super cute and then i actually had two of these look still got the price on 4.99 that one was um, I actually have two of these, but for this year, for this house, I think I'll just pop out the one. $7.99 for the bigger one. Then I have this glass cloche, which I got from Asda for £6, which I thought would be nice with the little felt pumpkin tin from the White Company. These two are also Home Sense from last year. Let's see if they've got the prices on. 
$9.99 for that one and the little one is $5.99. They are exactly what I meant in my last Home Sense and TK Maxx vlog that I did in terms of autumnal decor rather than Halloween. But turns out their stock's been pretty quiet this year. So I even popped in and spotted something Christmassy and I bought it because this year we just don't know. We don't know if they're going to have a big Christmas delivery in or not so my recommendation to you is if you see it buy it now because autumn and halloweeny bits have been a bit disappointing this year anyway i also have two boxes of lindor chocolates which i'm going to pop in my home sense glass kind of what do we call this decorative bowl usually have white mint imperials in it as we get towards christmas i might put the white lindor chocolates in but for this time of the year i think these caramel ones which are like an, a really nice burnt orange gold kind of color let's pop those in oh and then this wreath as well i can't remember where i got this from can anyone remind me from last year i think it possibly was home sense but i like how it's just brown i might even pop this on our front door if it doesn't fit anywhere here as like a wreath for a candle to pop in the middle autumnal wreath for the front door uh, I just really love a wreath on the front door so that is going to be for that we do have a couple of other doors I could put them on in the house so if I get any more that I want to put out but let me just show you what we're working with here so obviously we have our new cushion cover we have underneath I've popped the wooden bowl with uh, five I quite like odd numbers so I've got five of these white poundland pumpkins in. I might pop some, oh in fact, yeah, one second. So I just remembered I got these from Shein and they're little pumpkin fairy lights. They are quite cute, they're obviously white. I need to pop some batteries in, but these could look nice. They're actually quite big. Oh, I'm not sure if they would work here. I feel like I maybe need some more prettier looking fairy lights to scatter here but for now let's just do that mm, no no it's not working i'll pop them somewhere else or maybe towards halloween get them out because obviously we'll be in a new house so anyway we have those down there and then we have this little duo i quite like these side by side so i'll pop a tea light in there and then the glass and well yeah because this is glass as well. Um, the glass ornaments all together. I kind of am um, wishing I had two packs of those pumpkins. And when I bought them, I nearly did get both packs because they were in the sale at £4.50. They're back online, by the way, if you did want to pick them up. But they are full price at £15. But anyway, I should have bought two packs because that would have filled that cloche really, really nicely. And then we have our yummy treats in there. And then over in this corner, again, I like things in odd numbers. So I popped the two little pumpkins there. So it makes it five, all kind of ascending, descending, however you want to look at it. So I think they look quite nice over there. I quite like them together with them both having squirrels on top. I think what I also might do, because obviously on that uh, poof, we used to have the tray. I have these two magazines which I thought I could pop on here. So this one is the White Company um, Autumn Brochure. So it has loads of fashion and of course homeware. And then this is volume 11 stories from Neptune Home which I have just requested the new one as well which looks very autumnal but I thought that one did too. So that is again just another home. Oh, did you see that recipe? What was that? Where is it? Oh, 
smoked haddock, celeriac gratin. What was that one as well? Rhubarb tart tatan. Oh my god, yum. Anyway, that can go underneath that one because White Company takes priority. <laughs> and I could just have them laid out like that, maybe? What do you think? I think it works. I'm happy with that. Just giving this a quick hoover and mop underneath. And this is the area that I'm working with in the kitchen. It's like on our little bar, I suppose you could call it. I'll just wipe down the surface first of all using the flash all purpose in apple spice. I can't get over how amazing this smells. Honestly, it's so good. It used to, usually I find that uh, the best place for like the seasonal scents is Home Bargains. I feel like they're very on it with getting the scents out nice and early. Again, all these walls are getting painted when we move out. For a nice fresh start for whoever moves in. Okay, so first things first is the tray and also the coffee pods, which sit next to the machine. Now, to make this seasonal, I'm going to put all of our Halo coffee pods in, which are white in colour. And then all of the brown, gold and orange ones, maybe, I'll pop in there as well. Just give this a wipe down as well with my glass cleaner before I do that. I want to be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'm going to be the best damn lover you got. I want to mess up your covers. I think non-seasonally, once, um, you know, autumn and Halloween is gone, I'd quite like to get into using these halo pods more. One, because they're better for the environment, but two, the aesthetic of having a fully white coffee pod selection makes me very happy. We have these coffee toppers, which I got from B&M. We have hazelnut pie coffee from TK Maxx and a cinnamon maple syrup. We've got this farmer's bag, praline syrup, some stroop waffles. And then I do still have this Halloween wax melt burner, but I kind of want to put this aside and maybe save it for the new house. I've just remembered I found this as well, which I forgot I had. I got this in a charity shop last year and it's the most wholesome cookbook with loads of different recipes designed for autumn. So I love that. I think that would go quite nicely with it being in the kitchen. So at the minute it's looking pretty busy and I'm not sure whether to jam pack it full like this or go a little more toned down and just leave a couple of bits, maybe remove these two and just have them as little candle there. This one is in Spiced Amber from Primark, it was the bargain price of 80p. And then this sweater weather mug is from Sustrine Green and I've just popped a few of the little uh, Lindor's in there as well. I might scatter some pine cones that I've got as well from Home Bargains on there just to kind of give it that autumnal feel. And again, maybe even some more fairy lights. But overall, I'm happy with my little seasonal touches in this house anyway. And I'm just so excited to be able to next year go, whoa, that's bright, <laughs> to next year be able to go full on with us being fully settled in the house and everything like that. So, the last thing to do now is to light the candles, light the wax melts, light the fire, sit back, relax, and just enjoy. So there we have it guys, welcome to what is officially the best time of the year in my opinion. I love autumn so much. I really hope you enjoyed this fall 
autumn decorate with me and I hope you're really excited for all the autumnal and festive content to come. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video as well, I do have some festive Christmassy bits included within Sunday's video, so stay tuned for that. Have a lovely rest of your day, rest of your week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys!